And I also had the same problem before. So I am a pianist and I really enjoy playing the piano. But when I was younger, there was a an emotion mixed with my playing the piano. I liked to call people's attention to me. I liked to be complimented. And I would do everything to show off. For example, I uh, played, as I play still in church, and when I would go to a church, a church that I, have, I had never gone before, and I would talk to the person responsible for the music to give me an opportunity to play the piano. So I would offer myself to play. And I liked to play and exhibit myself and show off my virtuosity. And I really enjoyed when there was another pianist there, especially if he had played before me and that I could compete with him to show that I was better than him. So you see that I really liked to have the applause I remember one time that I uh, had a concert in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, in a church with hundreds of people, and I was so happy to be the center of the attention, and I was interviewed, so all of that made me feel important. And when I uh, got home that day, I couldn't even sleep. I was thinking of what had happened and how people complimented me and how they uh, recognized what I was. And I realized that I was acting as if it was not true. Actually, in the eyes of everyone, I might be important, but not in my own eyes, because I was so happy, so excited, as if it was not true. I was like surprising myself with all that recognition, that praise that I had. So I was actually overexcited, and that excitement was not a true happiness because I couldn't believe that it was me, you know. So, uh, this is the problem when you crave for the applause because you crave for the applause because you don't believe in yourself. Actually, you don't value yourself. If you value yourself, you you not crave so much for that. And there are some problems about craving for the applause is that if you don't get the applause or if you are uh, in some way rejected by people, you would be really down. You would be very sad. And that happened to me also before. Because being applauded for me was so important that if I was not, or worse than that, if I was criticized then I was really down. I was really depressed and sorry for myself. So, we need to believe in ourselves. To believe that we can really do something good, that we are capable. Believe in our talents. So that we consider applause or praise as something normal that we deserve and everyone else deserves. And we need to not to be the last one to believe in ourselves. We need to be the first one. Yeah, we can do something good because we are capable. And you see that when you crave too much for the applause, you get really stressed. You get really nervous. And it happened to me also. I was always very nervous in my performances. I remember, especially one time that I was uh, participating in a, a, an audition and there were many good pianists 
And when it came to my time to play, I was shaking my hands, my legs. It was incredible. I was completed, uh, incapable to to be calm, relaxed, and why? Because I was worried too much about people's opinion. So you see that this is the problem of not valuing ourselves, and then we want to have the applause so much that we are a slave of it. We are dependent of it. We are in people's hands. We depend on them to accept ourselves. The same way we crave, crave for the applause, we fear the rejection too much. And this fear causes us to be nervous, to be stressed, and then we don't have fun. I have watched some pianists playing and I become amazed how, how much fun they have in front of thousands of people sometimes. And they are having fun. Why are they having fun? Because they believe in themselves. They are not worried about people's opinion. They know they are good. And what if they do a mistake? What if they don't do well? They are not going to feel good bad about that. They love themselves. Their love is a shield that protects them. So, if something bad happens, they have their love. And the love they have is the most important thing. So, more important than doing a good presentation, than doing a good job, is loving ourselves. This is the most important thing. Because, you know, people may applaud us, they may criticize us, and sometimes they praise, sometimes they criticize, sometimes they accept, sometimes they reject. But when we have their own law, our, our own love, we are not in people's hands, we are not dependent on them <coughs> to be happy. And you see that applause can't heal our inferiority complex. So if you feel inferior, the people's applause won't heal our inferiority complex. We can't heal something interior with something exterior. So I, I'm not saying that you shouldn't do something good. For example, if I am a pianist, it's normal that I'm going to get applause if I do a good job. I'm going to get applause. It's, it's really normal. But I should not be dependent on that. When I get the applause, that's only a confirmation that I am capable, that I am valuable. It's just a confirmation of something that I know. I know I can. I have abilities. I can do a pretty good job. So, uh, I don't believe in myself because of the applause. I believe in myself because I have a good self-esteem. So, maybe, sometimes, I may not be applauded. And if I'm not applauded, I'm going to try to correct myself and do a better job. But I'm not going to reject myself. I'm not going to uh, put myself down and step all over myself and, and uh, resent myself for doing a mistake and regret uh, something, really feel bad. No, that's okay. Everyone does mistakes and it's normal. We learn with them, right? But uh, we need not to be dependent on the applause 